Good morning. This is Greg again at the Pocatello National Weather Service office with the weather hazard briefing for Thursday, January 26, 2023. Now, this will be a long briefing, probably the most slides all I've presented, so bear with me. Uh, we're going to have continued patchy fog today, and then we're going to have snow tonight through Sunday, uh, periods of snow for at least three days. Uh, key points, again, we've got patchy areas of dense fog and some of the Snake River Plain, Arco Desert, uh, areas of low clouds are going to continue. Then the more important uh, information, we have two systems bringing snow tonight through Saturday and then again another system on Monday. So the model's still indicating the potential for some significant snowfall tonight through Saturday. Uh, Again, very heavy snow is possible in the eastern mountains and also Snake River Plain, but not as much as the mountain areas. A lot of uncertainty still. Uh, right now we're looking at 6 to 12 inches in the eastern and southeastern mountain valleys, 1 to 2 feet in high elevations, and the potential for 4 to 8 inches in the Snake River Plain with lighter amounts elsewhere. Uh, winter storm watches have been issued for the Snake River Plain and eastern and southeastern mountain zones. They're going to have another light event uh, working through Sunday. Uh, with that one right now, we're thinking 1 to 3 inches in the Snake River Plain and 2 to 6 inches in the eastern and southeastern mountains, southern hills again, and then lesser amounts elsewhere. Uh, this morning's satellite imagery, again, it's just showing the widespread low clouds and fog in this blue color uh, extending from all the way back to the Magic Valley through the Snake River Plain into some of the valleys, uh, eastern mountains. So again, these low clouds are going to persist again through the day with some local areas of dense fog as well. Uh, looking at the infrared imagery extending out in the Pacific. Again, you see this big area clear air off the Washington coast south through California. That's the high pressure aloft. And then we see some moisture to the north working all the way into British Columbia, Alberta uh, with a lot of these green, yellow shading, so in higher clouds which are going to be moving south uh, with that system moving south from Canada tonight. And that's the one that's going to be uh, creating the snow for the next several days. And here is our weather risk outlook. This is messy. Uh, again, some at least minor risks today with the patchy morning dense fog, especially Snake River Plain, Arco Desert. Uh, and then also overnight snow in the eastern, southeast highlands, Snake River Plain as well, causing some impacts. Some light snow, Sawtooth, Slim High County. And then Friday through into Saturday, we have moderate risks in the southeast, eastern highlands, and at least minor risk in the Snake Plain for snow. I didn't put it on here, but we could get windy as well on Friday, uh, especially across uh, some of the Snake Over Plain areas. And then the snow continuing Sunday, again, at least minor risks, much of the southern eastern mountain Snake River Plain again, and minimal impact elsewhere. So pretty much all of these systems, it looks like the brunt of the snow is going to be basically Snake River Plain and east and southeast of that. And again, still high uncertainty. It's going to be a very limited distance from a lot of snow to not much snow at all. And then as we get into Monday, uh, highlighting cold, it's going to get extremely cold uh, once that Sunday system moves away and we get into some deep northerly flow. So it should be drying out almost everywhere, only some light snow showers remaining in the eastern mountains. And here are the watches we have out. Again, winter storm watches for the Snake River Plain uh, along the interstate corridor and then the upper Snake Highlands, eastern highlands, and the southeast mountains. Again, that's where I expect most of the heavier snow to fall. And again, we have a lot of watches out back through southwestern Montana into the Idaho Panhandle. So fairly widespread snow event. High temperatures today. It may start to warm up a bit. Uh, well, these have been trending too warm for the last couple days, at least in the lower elevations. But we're showing mainly 20s and some lower 30s. 
possibly, uh, especially out towards Burley. Again, these have been trending a bit too warm, and if the stratus doesn't clear out at all, these will probably be a hair warm as well. Uh, with the system moving into night, uh, we're expecting warmer temperatures as the precipitation moves in, generally teens and 20s uh, throughout the region. Snowfall amounts tonight through Friday. You can see some of these heavy amounts. Uh, we have 8 to 12 inches from Island Park to Ashton. And then many areas, 6 to 8, Rexburg to Dregs, and even Idaho Falls, Blackfoot to Pocatello, possibly 3 to 6 inches. And again, some of the higher elevations, the Idaho Wasatch, uh, Caribou, Highlands, uh, 12 to 18 inches, possibly in the real high elevations. And as you get further west, uh, northwest, you can see the tight gradient. We get into very little uh, lepping, the less than 1 inch amounts even back through the central mountains, maybe a little bit more up towards salmon. But again, this is going to be mainly focused in the eastern areas. And here's some of the wind gusts we have for Friday. You can see some 40 to 50 miles an hour. And again, a lot of these winds are where the, head, the strongest ones in the southern highlands, uh, Magic Valley. We're not expecting extensive snow that way. But uh, as you get to Pocatello to Idaho Falls, where we are expecting more snow into some of the eastern highlands, we could see a lot of blowing snow with this as well, where we're having some strong wind gusts in that area. And Friday evening, again, basically Pocatello West along the interstate corridor, some 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. High temperatures Friday, uh, going to be close to freezing, maybe even getting a couple degrees above uh, Pocatello West through Burley, generally 20s to lower 30s elsewhere. A little temperature Saturday morning dropping below freezing again. And snowfall amount Saturday again. This is tailing off the end of the system. Additional amounts generally 1 to 3 inches up the interstate corridor to Rexburg and Ashton and even Island Park. So again, the brunt of the snow is going to be f tonight through Friday night, uh, and then just lesser amount Saturday as it tapers off. Wind gusts Saturday not as strong, generally some 15 to 25 mile per hour gusts in the Snake River Plain. Again, a little bit stronger towards Burley where we're not expecting significant snowfall. High temperature Saturday beginning to cool off, uh, 20s to lower 30s across the region. And then high temperature Sunday, only teens and 20s. So that's where we're going to see a big cool down from Friday and Saturday. And snowfall amounts forecast right now. You can see the 1 to 3 inches up the Snake River Plain and some locally higher amounts in the southeast mounds, 2 to 4 inches, Malad, Preston, uh, into Swan Valley. So again, it's going to get mainly focused in the south, southeast on Sunday. And now I'm going to show you the real cold temperatures expected Monday morning. You're seeing widespread 15 to 20 below Stanley to Island Park. And below zero even uh, Snake River Plain. Uh, and pretty much everywhere is going to be below zero. Maybe some of the southeast mountains will stay above. And high temperatures Monday, single digits to 15. So extremely cold. Monday looks like our coldest day. And Tuesday morning, again, widespread below zero temp readings. Uh, several areas colder than 15 below. Everyone showing colder than 10 below. Blackfoot, Idaho Falls to Rexburg. So going to have the coldest weather of the season uh, early this week. And again, high temperatures Tuesday, extremely cold. And a quick look, 8 to 14 days, which I like to do. Again, trending likely below normal temperatures uh, probably warming a bit though the first week of february and again still uh, trending better chances of above normal precipitation so summarizing again fog areas of low clouds continuing today especially this morning could see areas of dense fog and then two systems bringing snow starting tonight continuing into saturday and then another system on sunday and as I highlighted, very heavy amounts, eastern, southeastern mountains, uh, 6 to 12 inches in the valleys there, 1 to 2 feet high elevations, and the potential for 4 to 8 inches in the Snake River Plain. So again, still some uncertainty with this. Uh, the amounts could range a little bit above or below from what we have forecast. And then another snow event Sunday, uh, not as strong as the 
upcoming system, but still one to three inches in the Snake River Plain and two to six in the east southeast mountains. So very busy weather for the next several days. Again, if anyone has questions, contact us at the number listed 24 hours a day or visit our website. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day.